Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's story is named Everybody Leaves by Creepypasta Anecdotes. Get your popcorn ready and let's begin. Everybody leaves. It's 4 in the morning and I'm sitting in my car staring out the ocean by the Santa Monica Pier with the sunset right around the corner. It's a funny thing, the ocean. A force strong enough to destroy civilization, create weather patterns that lead to people being snowed in for months, and yet children run along the shore creating memories to get them through the greatest heartbreaks they will ever know. I remember being one of those kids. I would build sandcastles, kicking up salt water, splashing the current as I'd run straight into the relentless tides which would move the earth beneath my feet. My mother would call me back to our towels we laid out where she would sit reading her books every so often. She always seemed like she thought these days were never quite what she was hoping for. It was one of those days with mom on the beach where she told me my father had left us for good. I didn't even know what she meant by that at the time. I thought she was silly for crying. Daddy always leaves for work though, right? I asked her. But she wouldn't stop crying. She just grabbed me by my waist, pulled me close and sobbed, letting her tears mix in with the sunscreen she put on me. I wrapped my arms as far around her as I could reach. And even though I still didn't really know what she was talking about, I could feel my tears dancing down my cheeks and meeting hers. I never knew why dad left. My mom would change stories every other time I asked. One time, she told me he left for a different job and he couldn't bring us with him. Another time, she told me he didn't have enough money to try to raise me. I never really thought about it much. It was just one of those things that stay in the back of your head because it doesn't really change anything. Either way, mom and I were able to eat, find places to live, and not always have to sleep in the car between places. We stayed around the area more or less. I guess I just didn't really know any better. Once mom passed, I was positive I've never find out the truth about my dad. I was 28 when I spoke to her for the last time. I had tried to make a decent life for the two of us when she got sick at first. I just didn't want her to remember the last five years of her life as being the time she suffered from her illness. I wanted her to have a good time for once in her life before it was too late. I didn't want her last memories to be trying to come up with a reason for something she didn't understand herself. She caught something the doctors weren't familiar with. We had to wait for whatever it was she had to get bad enough to bring her into the emergency room just to get another test to see if there was anything they could do. After the third year of trying to bring herself to the edge of death, I think she just got tired. I could see it in her eyes. She just didn't want to have to keep marching on. I guess neither one of us did. I'm sitting here at 4 o'clock in the morning, staring out over the ocean by Santa Monica Pier with the sunrise around the corner. I'm 30 years old and it hits me. Everybody leaves. And now, it's time to just put my car in gear and leave here for good. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this video. What did you think of the story? And lastly, I want to thank Creepypasta Anecdotes for this amazing piece of work. Leave a comment, subscribe, and go to creepy pasta anecdotes and leave a comment down below. Thank you. Bye bye.